I totally just terrified you so badly. Anyway, hi everybody. It's me. And welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at Sheemish. I don't really know. I'm very late to this because, listen, untold fact about me, I don't wake up at 6 a.m. Um, and the update was at 6 a.m. And I didn't want to wake up for it just to be tired all day. So I decided to sleep in and kind of wait for what was going to happen. And apparently Jamie got this like in two minutes. So I decided, all right, I'm going to go ask Jamie Jamie if I can borrow his. So yeah, I stole Jamie Jamie's thing and now we're going to be trying it out today. Now here I have health and magical attacks. I want to be bulky and also do a little bit of damage. And with heal jelly, we can be very, very bulky and very hard to kill. And with trickster, this doodle boosts a random stat after using a support move. You might think, oh, that's pretty cool. What does it have? Right here, we have Storm Heal, Jolly Dance, The Flood, and Hyper Voice. Fun fact, this move got nerfed before I got to use it because um, it, it did like, to quote Sling, it one shot Abyssant. So it was a little good. So <laughs> essentially with all of these boosts, you can get up to plus 20 or plus six, plus six, plus six, plus six, plus six. A lot of freaking boosts, a lot of them. And honestly, it's this is gonna be really fun. With Storm Heal, we're able to heal up as well as get a plus one with Trickster. Jolly Dance gives us plus one, plus one each defense, as well as giving us another boost in Trickster, which will boost this by 10 damage. So we use Storm Heal, now 20. We use this, it's 30. Basically, every time we use this, it will boost it. Plus, with Trickster, it also boosts it too. So realistically, this is 20, this is 30. So we use this twice, suddenly this is 70 power. Use it three times, it's 100 power. Basically, the idea with Shemish is that you're supposed to stack up and just mow through the whole team with the Flood. And here with equipments, I have Theater Mask, a file of Tears, and Pizza Slice. Pretty much, I'm just trying to be bulky and not die. You can replace uh, Theater Mask for Horn Headband if you want, but I didn't really want to do that because that just felt too much too much bulk investment. I'd rather a little bit of offense if it all comes down to me getting no boosts, you know? But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys are as well. And let's try let's try this thing out. I heard that it was very, very good, and let's see how well, this thing will work out. Let's hop in the first battle. What? 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 You're telling me this exists now? Yo! That's sick. But I think for like uh, video purposes, I'll have to do casual because I don't think anyone's going to want to play comp. Everyone's going to want to use their Kronoses and Exiled. Speaking of Exiled, I haven't seen it in forever. Like, I have not seen it Exiled in like 11 years. It's been a long time, dude. So, for some reason, whenever I'm recording these videos, I just, I yawn. You guys definitely have heard it before. Let me see. Uh, so, what I've heard of is this thing actually fully walls, ro uh, not Rotera. Uh, Seam Knight. Oh, they don't have a melee. They can't hit me super effectively, can they? They really only have Mothra. <laughs> oh, God. You're about to go crazy. Okay. Let me do this. What are they gonna lead off? If they lead off with Owl, I'm gonna just hope they don't toxic. That's my only goal is don't toxic. All right. Hmm. Unwavering confidence. Now I could seriously just go for this and just see how well I tank it normally. I mean, 123, one or 209 is pretty solid. I'm gonna jolly dance. I'm gonna see. Let's see how strong is it. Okay. Okay, and it's lethal as well. Reminder, that is lethal ornament. I assume we're going to go into Mothra. And that could be fine. I do think we could still beat it. Yeah. What the heck? You did that on mobile, didn't you, buddy? My... Oh, my God. What? <laughs> what? So, I just... Oh, my God. I used cosmic power, but then got magic attack. Please, I can survive this. I can survive this. No way, I got the... <gasps> I'm getting every boost that I need. I'm getting every single boost that I actually need. Jolly Dance up. 
Oh, come on. Be the first battle ride. Just win immediately. I got a great boost in defense. <gasps> oh my god. Let me storm heal. Oh, and I got poisoned. I didn't want that. <laughs> like magic. <laughs> I need I, I need to get up to a good amount of health before I can actually kill this Mothra. That or I just kill it and remove it as a threat in general. Can I somehow heal back from all this? <laughs> I severely doubt I can. No, I'm losing health. I'm losing more health than I'm gaining. I just need to kill it. The, the poison sucks. I'll just kill it. I think that's just my best option. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it died immediately, but that will really show how strong it's going to be later in the showcase. Okay, and here we go. Now, I'm, I think I've learned a little bit that maybe... It's not the unbreakable wall I thought it was going to be. I've, what if you could use Cure Jelly? That'd be ridiculous. Um, I'll probably try to play this a bit better this time. Maybe if I switch it versus Aluminja. Uh. Uh. Incinilisk is really what I'm seeing. The only thing that can really switch in against. Though I don't want to get burned. Getting burned would suck. Alright, yeah. I'll lead off with my Grufflin. Nice. I get the really good lead off here. This is a really good lead for me. Very, very solid lead. So I can just take out here. And your switch into this doesn't really exist because your only food resist is Incinilisk. Which, I'm just going to say, I have my Fish for. I guess this is actually the, not the worst pairing, Pancakes and Fish. Oh, just gets one shot. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I'm hoping that I see a Seam Knight today. That's what I want to see. So yeah, apparently with the new matchmaking things, you don't get matched up with the same a person twice. Which, I was really hoping that would be a thing, because I always match up with the same person twice whenever I'm playing. Um, which always, I don't really mind it, but it always ends up being a little bit of a problem, because I'm trying to not battle the same person a thousand times. But it ends up happening regardless. I'm going to Crackling Static here, and if they go into... They could go Volt Enchant, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. They're not Conductor. Sick. Okay. Uh, Incinilisk, then. I guess if they go for their Rain, I can just Chaotic Volt. They could totally Rainmaker, actually. But if they Rainmaker, are they... Uh, I forget what the ability is called. Uh, the one that gets rid of Weather on the Prickles. I forget what it's called. I'm going to Incinerate, though. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> I had a feeling that was coming out. You're definitely going to go for your water move. I'd love to go Shmish, but I don't really know. what. Like, I need to switch it in versus Incinilisk. That's what I need to do. I'm fine if I get hit here. Yeah, I take less damage than what... <laughs> I took less than what the... <laughs> than what the Shockwave did. Okay, then. Curse Cloak and Sinilis. Let's go. Do I survive this? <laughs> uh, kind of wish I clicked. Uh, oh, could I? Could Fish beat this thing? If I click Jolly Dance. Mm. If I do it, it could be the victory that I've been wanting. Let's try it. Plus, since rain is up, I can just storm heal. They're switching into prickles. Okay. Arid. That's what it's called. Okay. Now... It's not worth it to try. I'm going to go into you. All I need to do is switch this. Okay. All I got to do is beat is go in against the Incinilisk. And it should be fine. 
yeah that's all i really need to do so i can just nosedive here it, nosedive is completely fine yeah but this thing getting plus three in one turn basically getting you up to 40 base power flood and then 70 then 100 you know it's kind of ridiculous i missed immediately uh, i freaking hate nosedive it sucks don't use it god it's an irritating move like i don't understand every time i needed to hit it won't hit but every time it'd be like okay that'd be a uh, pretty nice to hit it doesn't hit it will hit like it when i don't really need it that much to hit it'll hit i'm thinking i should be viewing fish more as like um set up late game versus like something like that i can switch in against what i need to do to win this game is with if i want to win it with fish i need to switch in against the incinilisk but he refuses to send it in he like refuses to send in incinilisk don't really know why <laughs> super effective oh of course oh yeah 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 there's three things gonna be super effectively Four, actually this this game for fish five actually six if it's venom bite wasn't the best fish game just gonna say that now let me savage blow whatever i can die i don't really care oh i would have killed it too if i wasn't freaking burned i'm still alive we could use this as an opportunity to attempt to set up with fish I honestly think this is our only option or our only like point to do it because anywhere else they just switch something in so let's go for it let me jolly dance give me a great boost in defense and let him get parried okay i'll take that oh my god wait a minute i was joking when i wanted to get parried but okay i now have plus one plus one plus one so that's amazing okay come on can plus three tank oh attack boost i didn't want an attack Attacks one of the boosts that you do not want. Oh, does the boost go down? Oh, they go down for this line. So it goes attack, defense, magic. Oh, they do go down like that. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You're able to indicate what boost you're going to get. So here, I'm going to get speed. Or magical defense is greatly boosted. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not the fish. Oh, no. Give me. Don't give me attack. Stop giving me attack. That ain't doing anything, buddy. I think here I will jolly dance and then start storm healing afterward. Defense. There's a magical attack that I was looking for. I don't want him to crit me because if he crits me, I could die pretty easily. I mean, I guess I can see how much hyper voice does because at this point, I think I have to beat the whole team. Should do I? Plus one. That doesn't have to be Koryu. Uh, let me storm heal up first. And I do get a defense boost from that as well. I'm just taking no damage. <laughs> Hyper voice. Does half his health. Counter punch. That is unfortunate we took that, that move, but we took that move, which I'm surprised over. I'll just continuously heal up a storm heal. Hopefully get some speed boosts. Magic defense. Oh, so it can actually oh okay so it can actually not boost stats that are already max so it doesn't work how like it like it does in Lumi legacy where it won't boost that stat if it can't go any higher you know where it would always boost the stat if possible with a uh, appetite and that's a fish victory pretty sure this is i think i only have plus one speed so this would outspeed me i think yeah that doesn't kill me though just <laughs> no don't you dare no oh my god yeah that's game we're at like plus seven thousand at this point and we have like 150 base power of the flood right now at plus two it's insane this move gets strong really quick but you need to find an opportune moment to do it and i went for it on the henchum and it worked out what he needed to do there was instantly switch into prickles which would have put more offensive pressure on me but i don't think it would have saved him it just would have put me down a little bit because I would need to try to kill it sooner. Um, but yeah. GG. Yeah. 
Okay. So far, this thing, uh, looking, uh, looking pretty, pretty solid. I'm just, just saying, pretty solid. <laughs> this matchmaking system is really cool. Because you're just able to choose what you want to do. So if there's days where you just want to practice comp, just do it. And I cannot wait for when ranked is added. I'll probably grind ranked a bit. I'll probably do that. That does sound fun. And look, I don't get the same person. This is amazing. Okay, this is a game where Glubby exists. And if it's Belch, I'm going to be very upset. Um. Hmm. Imperial Flame is a little annoying because it is something that can beat... Sheemish, but I do have an Incinalisk, which can probably beat that. Imperial Flame. I'll probably go with the same lead, because I can pretty much have to beat the whole team unless it's Rotera lead. Okay, I got the perfect lead off on him. I don't think there's any way he ever stays in here. I would think he goes Glubby, right? I want to take out really bad, because there ain't no way you stay in, because you know I outspeed you, you know I can kill you, right? So there's no way you would sack Juni immediately. I'm going to take out. Okay, they actually wanted to sack it immediately. Personally, I don't really see why. I think in a competitive aspect, that was the right decision to make. But I guess this guy's like, oh my god, the green arrow. It means I have to click it. I guess that's the logic of a lot of people, is the green arrow means click it. Well, what's your switch into this? You don't have a dark resist, so. Dark resist is very handy. Aurora. I mean, I know that's that you're taking 50% there, man. Low key, I could kill this immediately if I wanted to. Um, but I kind of want to save it as setup for sh Wait, hold on. It's time. Okay, 30, 23%. That's not bad at all. Jolly Dance. I'm pretty sure I also outspeed Kill Intel. There's no way Clintel's 89 speed. <laughs> Don't go into your glubby. Uh, <laughs> um, this is a game I don't want to play. <laughs> um, absolutely. Why do you have 199 health? You're supposed to have like 200 health. Watch me have given that also Amber Trap Fly. That would have been dumb. Did he miss? I want that, that fish to win, dude. Ooh, nice. Uh, you... Okay, um, I'm going to nosedive here. Will they make the same play twice of staying in on a stupid switch? No, they actually go Glubby this time. Okay, actually, I'm Peril Flame. I just one-shot that. Did I crit it? Okay, I was going to say, there's no way that was not a crit. Juno Pyro. Okay, so... I'm just going to kill this, because this is a threat to um, Fish. Nice. Now, all I need to do is switch Fish in versus Kill Intel. Or, I don't know about Glubby. I don't think it would work on Glubby. I think I need to go into uh, Seam Knight for Glubby. Because you're going to go for the poison move. I would have loved to get it in versus one of the fire types, but unfortunately he had the two fire types in the game that can actually hit Fish, which does kind of suck. Thank you, dude. Sister just gave me a drink. It's not alcoholic. It is um, a heisey, and it is going to be delicious. What was I going to go into? What does he have on the field? Glubby? Yeah. I totally forgot what I was doing. Acidic Rain. Okay. Um... You're going kill intel, right? Am I dead if he clicks hex? <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Go kill intel. Go kill in. 
Not the stupid dog. Whatever. I'll just our guard up. Honestly, I think Sheamus is really good. Pursuit. Okay. Well, now he takes damage. Um, He's accelerate as well, so it's not ranged. Took damage from Scissor Guard. That's a really good chip. Like, I know that might not look like much, but, like, that's really, really good chip. Because in a competitive aspect, any chip is good chip. Because, like, okay, look at this. At this point, I don't need Seam Knight because everything else hits me super effectively. I can just uh, Shadow Lurk this and let it die to Acid Rain. And if it lives, I can just go Schmish. Or, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Like, I'm just called Smith. I can go into Smith. And then, um, yeah, look at that. See? The amount of chip that we got from Scissor Guard allowed us to kill there with our Shadow Lurk along with the damage from Spirit Claws. You can go for neutral moves if it ends up mattering in the end. Let me go Spirit Claws. So I don't think Shemish actually did that much in this game. Um, thank you. It just um, kind of existed. But I think that still matters. Yeah, I can go down here. <clears throat> I'll probably just end it though. Go into Springly and Leaf Blade. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> this is a little interesting. Will I kill it? Will I kill it? Will the game end? That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Good game. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Okay, and here we go into the next battle. <clears throat> oh, this is a really good game. We literally get to switch it in every time versus the Maragrim because we completely wall Maragrim because Maragrim has spirit, fire, and water coverage. We are immune to spirit and resist both fire and water. So this is going to work out very well for us. If we can get one Jolly Dance up, we're going to be very difficult to break. Spirit you could pose a little bit of a threat, but I don't think it'd be that much of a problem. <clears throat> Oh, you're gonna lingering immediately, aren't? Oh, don't lingering. Oh, please don't click lingering poison. I'd be not a happy camper at all if you click lingering poison. He's clicking lingering poison, isn't he? He's gonna click lingering poison. He's gonna click lingering poison, and I'm not gonna be very happy. I will not be the happiest camper. Don't do it. If if I see lingering poison. Anyway, now that that's done, uh, Incinerate. <clears throat> Incinerate, I think, would still kill. Oh, that's a good leadoff, actually. That, that's Taser. I didn't know that had Taser. Well, let me just kill this. Uh, I don't really know why I didn't Tainted Water twice. Mm, could have just done that. I guess he was hoping that I'd get parried. Okay, now he's just shifting winds with Grufflin and we'll be fine. Uh, why are you going into this? Are you Determination Jelly? Oh, you're Determination Jelly, right? Yeah, okay. So that forces me to go Grufflin, or, or Springling to kill this thing. <clears throat> I could have also gone Seam Knight, actually. I'm kind of dumb. Why did I not go Seam Knight? Yeah, Seam Knight was the play there. Okay, oh, actually, we could, if we bait out Mara Grim, No, the issue here is... He's gonna sack this, obviously. He doesn't need this, because he killed Incinilisk. The problem here is, at this moment, he I need him to go Spear you. If he could go Spear you, I, no, he Pursuit Trapped me then. So then I'm dead from that. If he goes Spear you, I'm Pursuit Trapped. Which, if he does that, it actually works out in my favor, because then I can go Grufflin Shifting Winds, then I'm free to go Fish. Because... This could work out, actually. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, I will go you. And then I'm gonna shifting. I can die afterward, though. It doesn't really matter. I can die after. I'm fine taking 42%. I'm fine with that. Because if, if in the long run... If in the long run, I am able to, uh... Get my Jolly Dance off. One Jolly Dance should be enough to hopefully beat these, this entire team. Me shifting. I just need to get one off. 
Okay, getting the field clear there is, like, what we needed to happen. I will go down there, but that is totally fine. I can now go into Sheemish. Now, assuming this is four attacks, then I can Jolly Dance up here. It's actually Harmony. That is uh, terrifying. Match defense has been greatly boosted. Harmony. Okay, he's going to do that. Are you going to go into Spiriu? Oh, you're going Spiriu, aren't you? Yeah. You see, I knew he was going to go Spiriu. Because, obviously, he's going to put me to sleep, then click Adrenaline, right? Of course he's going to do that. Let me disarm so you don't get your heal, Jelly. Okay, if he clicks Adrenaline, he dies here. Does he die? I'm dead. That's fine. That's okay. Getting rid of the crayons there helps us. I don't like that my Sheemish is asleep. I could have gone Seamite, actually, and then... Hmm. I, I meant to go Rip Turban. What am I doing? What is that? Cold Glance? Why would you not just be toughened? <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to beat this thing specifically. I don't really know. Because he's going to cold glance, right? Let me... I don't know, dude. This is a weird endgame. <clears throat> this is a weird endgame, dude. This is a weird end. I don't like this end game. This is weird. I already said that, but I know this is just a very weird end game. Can you get paralyzed or something? I don't like how that lowers my attack and defense. Okay, is he just going to continue to click that move? Okay, he's just going to continue to click that move. Alright, yeah, it's literally coming down to uh, Sheemish. It's literally coming down to Sheemish. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> My god. I don't think I can even kill it here. And he's just going to be able to kill me with a pursuit, probably. No, I kill it. Okay. <clears throat> this game is literally coming down to Sheemish. Yeah. I think right now I have to keep it in. At some point, he's going to have to hit me, right? You... You're going to you're gonna have to gem blast. It's literally going to come down to this, I think. It's literally coming down to this exchange. Oh. Yes! Okay! I got the magic attack boost. Now I just need the speed boost. Give me the speed boost. Give me this speed boost. Come on. Jelly lover, magical jelly. That does nothing to me. Yeah, I don't think he break. He can't break me. No, no, no. He can't break me. He can't break this. He can't break me. He can't. There's no way he can. I just can. I just keep doing this. I need to get. I need to get speed here. No way. Oh, <gasps> come on. Wait, wait. I clicked it, what, three times here? So, plus nine. That's 100 base power flood at plus one. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. That's game. Yo, the Sheemish. <laughs> ah, you should never, ever rely on Harmony to win you games. Never, ever rely on it. Crystal Ball's gone. That'll be game. <clears throat> That's it. It all came down to the ex this exchange. 
Let me at least kill Rotera. Please. Let me at least kill the Rotera. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. Like, even after the flood nerf, it's still good, right? It's still good even after the flood nerf. Because even though you're only getting 10 per... Only 10... Like, 100% stronger. Uh, like... The first time... It's weird. Because only... You're only getting 10 power each time, right? But look at the results! It's insane! Look at the results, dude! Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Sheemish completely walls Malzuri. Yeah, that's crazy. GG's, man. Good game. Good, good game. And with that, I'll be ending off this showcase. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. That is very helpful. Honestly, I am not going to lie. This thing, even after the nerf, it did so, so much work. It was insane. I have a feeling if you want to, you can run, uh, use crayons over heal jelly if you really wanted to. But since I wanted to try to make this, I'm trying to make a team's comp. And I've been using this, like, same core so much recently that might as well add Sheemish. And honestly, it did so much more than I thought it was going to do. Like... I really, really like uh, this specific build because you're just able to have good defense. It's good magic. You have every good stat. Everything you have is good, and it's insane. It's a really good doodle, I think, and I would definitely recommend giving it a shot if you ever want to try it because I think this is a very worthwhile doodle to go for. Although, it's not a doodle you can just slap onto a team and hope it does something and it'll always work. It won't do that. You have to know when to switch it in. So, stuff for, say, like other water types, for example, you can beat pretty easily. Uh, fire types you can beat besides Impero Flame and Junipyro. You need to know that. Incinelisk, Malzuri, Moss, all that you can beat. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see everyone in the next one. Bye bye!